this patient is taking medicines for ovulation. This is early pregnancy and according to LMP, this is 6 weeks and 3 days pregnancy. This is abdominal ultrasound. The corpus uterum is seen in both ovaries. Abdominal ultrasound also shows two gestation sacs in the uterus. But before starting the video, many females ask question about twins. That can ovulation medicines cause twin pregnancy? The answer is that naturally twin pregnancy is about 2 to 4 percent of all the pregnancies. And with ovulation medicine, this is about 10 to 12 percent of all the pregnancies. So this is the mild increase in twin pregnancy with ovulation medicine. And still about 90 percent of all the pregnancies are single. Now this is a TVS ultrasound which gives a much better visualization. We see that cervix is normal. Two separate gestation sacs are seen in the upper third endometrial cavity. These are normal in position, no perisai fluid seen. The gestation sac 1 mean sac diameter is 15.2 mm. This is 5 weeks and 6 days of gestational age. There is small live fetal pole in the sac. According to CRL, the gestational age is 6 weeks and 1 day. Heart rate is 117 beats per minute. This is the second gestation sac. The mean sac diameter is 14.4 mm and gestational age is 5 weeks and 5 days. This also contains a small alive fetal pole and according to CRL, the gestational age is 6 weeks and 0 days. Heart rate is 115 beats per minute. So this is a normal alive intrauterine twin pregnancy at 6 weeks. Small yolk sac is seen in both of the gestation sacs. This is of size 4 mm and 5.2 mm. Less than 6 mm is within normal limits. Many females are worried about complications of twin pregnancies. There are some complications, but most of the twin pregnancies continue normally without any major complication. The most common complications are preterm delivery, a delivery that occurs before 37 weeks, low birth weight, there may be increased risk of miscarriage, the mother should face severe morning sickness during twin pregnancies. Other complication includes excessive increase amniotic fluid. There may be increased incidence of mother gestational diabetes. Another complication that is more serious is twin to twin transfusion syndrome. But this occurs in about 10% of all the twins. This occurs when identical twins share a common placenta. As in monochorionic twins. This condition develops when a connection between the baby's blood vessel allow one baby to get little blood and other to get much. So one baby is weak IUGR and other baby has excessive weight. Severe cases can cause loss of one baby and in extreme cases, both of the babies. Thanks for watching the video.